And now, five fans, we are set to go once again. Three rounds of welterweight action. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a mixed martial artist standing six feet even. He weighed in officially 169 pounds and brings a professional record of five victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Worcester, England by way of Poland, here is Iron Peter Podosinski. And next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Also a mixed martial artist standing six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in 170 and one quarter pounds and brings a 12 fight record that stands at nine victories and three defeats from Liscard, Cornwall, England. Here is Lee Kent. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, David Swan. Referee David Swan about to get this one underway. A welterweight contest fought over three okay, five-minute rounds here in the Man Jordan. The last fight of our Facebook prelims before we go live around the world. We thank you for joining us and hope you'll be with us for the main card. And it's Lee Kay is starting this one off with a nice one-two combination. Padusinski answering him right back. <laughs> Both guys exchanging some good hard leg kicks early on. And it looks like we're going to get the dogfight we anticipated here. Neither man giving any quarter in these opening exchanges. Nice overhand right, landed there for Padashinsky. Oh, and Lee Kaz has done a good job of taking this fight straight to the ground. He's already under the chin of Padashinsky. He's just managed that to choke his chin inside, in Josh. Very tight indeed. Krasinski's oh, fighting this one though. Kez is squeezing with everything he's got and I think he's got the submission here. And there it is! Incredible submission early in the first round. Wow. Lee Kez saw the opening for that rear naked choke and he jumped all over it. As you said earlier, Josh, a specialist with that hold. Yeah, and I mean, he showed us why tonight. Yeah, it was, it was a great work from Lee Kez to off balance Pudashinsky in that transition. And as soon as he went to the ground, moved straight to the back, hooks in. In fact, I think he attacked the neck before the hooks were even in. Let's take a look at the replay here. And there's so much squeeze pressure. You can see the hand firmly behind the head, palm facing the back of the head as well, making it all the more tighter. Pudashinsky left with absolutely no option but to tap. And as you said, Josh, the hooks did go in after he'd attacked the neck. <laughs> Nonetheless, he secured that position beautifully and so fast with that rear naked choke. Yeah, I mean, I think a career best performance there for Lee Kez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. One minute, 40, or actually 48 seconds. Round number one submission by rear naked choke for your winner out of England, Lee Kez! It's a perfect 3-0 now for Lee Kayers in Cage Warriors. That welterweight division is stacked. And we look forward to seeing Kayers back in the cage to continue his climb up that welterweight ladder.